Coastal Roots Farm is a nonprofit community farm where we focus on regenerative agriculture, food justice with the food that we provide into the community, environmental education, while we uplift all these initiatives with Jewish wisdom and values. I think what really sets us apart is the fact that we grow food from seed all the way to reaching people in the community who can benefit from that food. And to do it in such a sustainable way that cares for the land, uh, that creates the most nourishing food possible, and then making sure that it's going directly to those who can benefit. Some of our food distributions include our Pay What You Can farm stand that we operate twice a week, uh, where we invite anyone from the community to come and shop for, for vegetables, regardless of your ability to pay. For our off-site food distributions, uh, the food gets harvested in the fields, we wash and we store the food in bins once we're ready to um, distribute the food to the community. Oftentimes we'll prepare bags on site here at the farm, complete with um, some educational resources including produce lists like, hey, here's what's in your bag this week. Um, and here's some tips on how to use it, how to store it, uh, and we'll also accompany that with a recipe or two. You know, Coastal Roots came to us and they're kind enough to share their abundance along with everything else. We're a low income housing for seniors and I mean very low income and it's very difficult in these times where food is so expensive and everybody is so grateful to get anything that we can use. We are doing something unique at the farm by serving the same communities month in and month out and that consistency is the basis for a really healthy relationship building. Most of the residents that I live look forward to Coaster Roots coming. They wait for the truck to come and say, oh, here he is. The communities that we're serving are really vast and we're working directly with those communities. And we're talking about low income, uh, listed military, we're talking about Latinx community members, low income seniors, indigenous and tribal communities, and other communities of need. And the fact that we have direct partnerships with these organizations in these communities, we know exactly where the food's going and who's benefiting. Without San Diego Women's Foundation support, we would really struggle to reach those goals for this year to feed 45,000 people and to farm in the way that we do that cares for the land, that nourishes the soil and the environment. It really takes significant community support to do the work that we do day in and day out and every year and to really farm in a way that has long timelines and long leads in terms of putting seeds in the ground and the time that you're harvesting those crops. Um, we need to know that there's that support in the community that's gonna allow us to continue this impactful work.